All right, here we go. Big Boy Sports is, uh, well, not live. I'm not live, but we're here today with a player. For the first time, a player has spoken out and given me, the, you know, the keys to run the show. Um, and I was very surprised, you know, when I found this out, when I found out my boy Red Shields of the Wichita Regulators has he has an AFL contract? He is on the regulators. He will be playing tomorrow night against the Slide of Liberty. Uh, first things first, how are you doing, man? Um, the people want to know how you are. Good, bro. Doing real good, man. Bless him, man. It's all it's all big, man. You know, keep the got a chance to keep fighting my dream, man. Get to play and everything, just making sure everything's straight, man. Like just a dream come true so i'm still working I'm trying to get higher up most definitely but it's how it's how guys playing it's a blessing right now man but i'm good bro yeah and, and you started um i didn't catch the entire game again too many games going on um y'all played the billings outlaws yeah, last sure. weekend lost six six twenty six but hey you know new week y'all the last yeah. game of the week too so that makes things a heck of a lot easier yes, sir. everything like that um first off your journey how in the world did you end up on an afl roster that that's i, I kind of want to kind of want to get to know about that a little bit faith bro it's just faith in god man you know what i'm saying i i stayed grinding you know what i'm saying like i never lost i never stopped getting in shape i never stopped working or whatever so i was coaching and teaching in the classroom and everything so like I basically like, I basically didn't give up, but I was basically like on a whole nother path just until my name was called. And luckily I was blessed with an opportunity for one of the coaches I know for real to get there. So everything was just basically like a good deal and like a, I'll be, like, grace of God, man, most definitely. Um, how has um, the process, you know, so far, how was the, how'd that first game go for you? Good. So like, it's new. So like, Practice, it was good and everything, so, like, it was normal, normal. So then when, as soon as it gets, like, to the game, it's 10 times faster. You got a different opponent. You got most – you got everybody trying to survive like everybody else. So, like, it was just – it was actually new. But then now that, like, I got the first game out the way, I'm a little more confident. So now I can actually fly around and make more plays. So most definitely. Yeah. How do you feel about being in, you know, the arena style with the nets and everything, you know, eight on eight? you know, um, defensive restrictions and everything like that. How's that been it's for different. you? It's different for sure. But, like, it's football, you know. So, like, I've been playing football my whole life. So, it's still the same exact thing. You just you got different circumstances now. You know, you got to understand you got a net, you got a wall, and, like, you got to know it's only 50 to 80 yards of field, you know. So, it's just, it's just all about adapting. It's not really just too much of a difference to me because it's, it's football. I've been doing it for so long. So, now it's just normally it's just, like, basically, okay, how can I play against this wild? How can I use this wild as my my leeway, my help? So it's just really something like just a little change, not as much. Okay, so um, again, where where did your football journey start? That's that's something that we really want to know, man. Because I, I, I forget. Man, I went to Blend Junior College, man. Like first out of high school, I went to Blend Junior College. My grades went all the way there, so like went to Junior College, got my grades up, man, and I transferred to Angelo State. Played a semester, played a semester at Angelo State, did a good. Then I ended up wanting to transfer from Angelo State. So I transferred after the semester at Angelo State and went to Henderson State for the next two years, and that's where I flourished at, man. That was that was my big step. So I went to Henderson State, which is in Arkansas. Mm. Yep, so it's in the uh, Great American Conference in Arkansas. We play a school that's right across the street, like 100 yards, which is Wachita mm -hmm. Baptist. So it's like a big rivalry down there. So it's just it was a D two. So and that's where I really flourished it. So like that's basically like a broad, very broad statement of just like where I'm going, where I went, or my little path basically up to the to NFL, IFL, AF, a little AFL. Um, a big question that has been going around, you know, is, um, have you been paid? You said what? Have you been paid? Yeah, it's yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm just making sure because um 
unfortunately, the AFL 3.0 has been an absolute disaster for the most part. You've got a team that already folded and everything like that. But I know you, you guys are just trying to do y'all's thing, you know, trying yes, to get prepared for the next game and everything wow, like that. And try and keep rocking and rolling. But uh, that was a big question I had coming in because, um, you know, last year, Wichita um, did not, they did not play in a league. They played a bunch of semi pro opponents last year. Now they're up here in the AFL and everything like that. So that was one, uh, that was definitely a question. Um, how, how's the things been going with your teammates and everything like that? How, how's, how's that been going? Have y'all been gelling together pretty well? We're good, ready to go. Ready to play, man. This is how we were though. Next game. Let's go. And control what we can control, man. Your opponent is definitely a a, a long standing team, the Salina Liberty. How in the world are you going to go into that environment? You know, it's gonna be a home game. That's gonna be good. Um execution. That's it, man. Execution is key, man. We just gotta do play our ball, play within ourselves as we normally do, and let's just go. What kind of um, what kind of people did, did you idolize growing up? I know we both were in Pittsburgh, so we both know who Kendall Wright is. But um, any other any other uh, guys you, you idolize? Yeah, man, Kato, man, and even all the people that didn't really just go anywhere. Like mostly, like my brother, for instance, and you know most of the the main ones around Mark Former came in. Who else can I name? Ted, like I, you know, I got to watch a bunch of people, bro. So it's like all of them idolize in one way because we all come from Pittsburgh. You get what I'm saying? So it's just it's just about how how much can they idolize this person and this or this person? Because I was always that one little kid that wanted to take every little detail from each and every person. So if you if you was a great, you knew what you was talking about. Even the ones that that people might think don't know what they're talking about, but they really do understand what they're talking about. I was one of those players where. I can understand, hey, I'll take this grasp from this person. But so, like, bro, it was multiple role models I had, bro. I just knew how I could separate myself from the next man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gotcha. Um, what's the greatest, you know, pitfall or adversity that you faced in your career so far? Juco, man. Juco, dog. When I went junior college, man, uh, it really set, set sail that, like, I knew, like, I wasn't always the biggest in the classroom, so it just said sell that like if I wanted to make a change in my athletic career, football career, or basically just better off being a better man than what I was years ago. I I feel like junior college really separate changed that over and made me mold into the man I am today for sure. Gotcha. Um, where do you see yourself in maybe next year or maybe even five years down the line? You see yourself, you know, maybe going to potentially another arena indoor football league? Do you see yourself like the UFL, CFL, or something it's like God, that? It's God playing, you know, guys Guys got the journey, bro. But all I can do is work, you know what I'm saying? So I can't just really tell you where I'm going to be, but I plan on being – I plan on being in the UFL for sure. Most definitely, UFL, CFL. Like, I plan on keep working like I've been doing and just progressing and flourishing in the league I'm in now and just taking it one step at a time, bro, really. One step at a time. Hey man, that's all we can do is just take it one step at a time. Got to keep, you know, yes, got to keep Absolutely. building. That's it. Got to keep building. Um, where, where do you, where, what, what's like the biggest goal you have for this season in general? Like, the biggest goal is for me, for me personally, is like just to get better and like be, be who I normally am. So like be and overcome a better player than I have always been. Okay. Okay. Um prove the doubt is wrong. The ones that the sleepers, the ones that slept on me and you know, didn't get an opportunity. Like I'm thankful for the ones that gave the opportunity, but all the ones that slept on me and didn't give me the opportunity, gotta make them feel me. Gotcha. Um, let's see. You have anything you want to say to anybody? You know, you know, trying trying to keep yourself, you know, uplifted and everything like that. You have anything? Nine hundred three, baby, man. You know, hey, from the east, man. I love the east, man. The east love me, man. I just want to thankful for all the support that's been here for me. All the ones that's been here for me. All the ones that he that I don't know that's not here for me. The ones that's not even 
that don't care for me, but I just want to support from everybody, man. I thank everybody that's with me and that's not against me, even the ones that don't tell me they're with me, but they with me. Appreciate y'all. It's all love, for real. You doing anything for the community? Yes, sir. Got to. Most definitely. I'm going to the, I'll be going to the schools. So we, we'll start back going probably next week. Well, probably this week for sure. We always go to the school and check on the kids in Wichita, man. So, gotcha, you know, gotcha. Yeah, because yeah, building a community is like is like something that's just like very important, you know, and everything like that. It's huge, bro. Especially, it's you know, especially for for a second year team, you know, and everything like that. Definitely important. Um, trying to think. Um, do you have you have any other social medias you want to you know like you know like I guess to like say um, you have any you have any specific shout outs or anything like that? Nah, man. Hey, everybody back home, hey, tune in tomorrow, man. Six o'clock, man. Y'all be there, or be square, man. Uh, support is there, man. Pack the pack, Harmon, man. Be there, or be square, man. Here we go. On you have any road other road, social man. medias? Yeah, so I. I got a Instagram, Nino Trey, N-I-N-E-T-R-E-Y. On Instagram, man. That's that's my Instagram, man, for sure. Just Instagram? You ain't got nothing else. I got I got Facebook. Let me Red Shields on Facebook. Uh let me see what else. Let me see. Red uh Red Shields underscore on Twitter, man. That's my mind. Right. Right I'll have to give you a follow then if you still use Twitter like that. <laughs> um, yeah, man. You, um, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think real quick before we get off of here. Um, what's one thing, what's one other thing you want to tell the people, you know, out there? Continue, continue to keep going, no matter the circumstances, man. No matter what, stay down, stay down, stay down. Continue going. I know things hard, but God got us. Keep God faithfully. Keep God number one, Lord and Savior, man. Keep going. Keep God first. Gotcha, man. Hey, man, I want to. I appreciate you for coming on. Um, you know, I know it took a couple days for us to get, get it together, but hey, we got it. We got it. Uh, I know this wasn't as long as usual, but you know, um, this is definitely something. Oh yeah, I get. I guess. I guess I can say. What do you think about the current situation involving the AFL 3.0? What do you What do you think about everything that's been going on from Philadelphia to Louisiana to Georgia and everything like control, that? Control what I can control, bro. That's the big thing. Control what I can control. Yeah, I don't want to get you in trouble or anything like that because you know well, they, they been, I said I don't want to get you in trouble or anything like that because they've been they've been silencing players and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, hopefully, um, Wichita, you know, the regulators keep going, keep their season going. Uh, hopefully, they go one and one tomorrow night. That's yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Y'all can catch that game tomorrow on I think Vire TV or whatever it's called, or either either that or the um, AFLUSA.com website. Um, watch my boy Red. He wears number twelve for the Regulators. So um, and that game will be in Hartman Arena tomorrow. Again, gonna be a good one. Can't wait for it. Red, I hope you have a good rest of your night, man. Um, Glad again, glad to have got you on. I know we had some conflicts over the past couple of days. <laughs> I was yes, trying sir. to get this in on Thursday, but uh, it didn't happen. But it's okay. We got it in yeah. today. Uh, we locked it, loaded, got it done. Uh, again, I'm gonna share this everywhere. Share it to my cousin, you know, Pat, and everything. And, you know, I know you'll be able to share it and everything like that once oh, I, dear. you know, upload this and everything. Um, yeah. Again, I just want to thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate it, boss. Thank from you for the having both me, of man. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you said something? Can you, thank you for having me, man. Hey, I'm glad, glad for you to be here, man. Um, And for me and Red, Big Boy is signing on out, and I'll see you in about three hours.
a little over three hours. We got some lacrosse to talk about, so <laughs> can't wait to talk all that. And then tomorrow night after the Salina Wichita game, this week in indoor football, baby, we 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 locked and loaded. So <laughs> watch that game. Come on back here. And we got you covered. So again, we sign it out. See you in three hours, boys and girls. <laughs>